Hi, my name is Colton Tate. I went to Notre Dame University and I currently play for the Seattle Seahawks and I won the wide receiver award. Uh, it's an honor. Uh, I was very excited when I heard I was fortunate enough to win it. So, uh, you know, because I know I had some great competitors such as Des Bryant, Demarius Thomas, Eric Decker. So, uh, just, you know, just happy to be a part of this tradition. It's great to be recognized as a nation's top receiver. Uh, it's, it's a dream come true. Uh, it's a blessing also. Uh, so, I thank God. I thank my family, uh, you know, for raising me the right way. And, uh, you know, all the different components to me becoming who I am now and help me get to receive this reward. Uh, I would say my ability to go up and get the ball. Uh, I think that's what separates me from all the other receivers in my draft class. Uh, I like to compare myself to Steve Smith, a uh, guy similar to my size, also attacks the ball. So I, I'd say that would probably be my top attribute. My hands, uh, my father was a great receiver at Tennessee State, so I think I, I got my hands from him. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think those are the two. Uh, I, I think it's been great. Uh, you know, it was my first year. I just completed and uh, finally, I feel like I got the hang of things. So I'm excited for this year and for the lockout to be over because I'm excited to start playing. Uh, Pete Carroll's a great coach, so uh, he's excited to play. For, he's, he's excited to coach me and I'm excited to play for him. So uh, I'm just ready to start playing again. He said, just, just work on my tools. Be great at you know what I'm best at. Uh, and I just gotta and fundam fundamentally be sound and just practice every day at you know, what's, gonna make, what's gonna keep me on the team and, and, and help me be successful. Definitely, definitely a hands-on coach, a, a player's coach, uh, someone great to, great to work with. Uh, you know, when I first got there, before you know, before I really understood what's going on, he comes up to me and is like, "Hey, come talk to me and talk to me," like he'd known me for years. Uh, so that's kind of something you always appreciate. You you get comfortable and you feel like you can be yourself and play play like yourself versus having to play like anyone or be like anyone. So uh, definitely enjoy that about him. Uh, so yeah, I, I think we absolutely had the best fans. And I know that you're, you're probably taught every team. Every team's supposed to say you have the best fans, but I can't remember. There was there hasn't been any games. I don't care if it rains, shines, snow, sleet, hell, whatever it is. That stadium is filled up, and everyone is ready. You know, and I, that's something that you you really appreciate. And I think you know, even with with all the sports in in Seattle, the fans are just great, and I'm I'm so happy that I'm a part of that. Uh, it, was, it was exciting. Uh, that's I, I guess that was the first glance where I, I thought I could really play this game and be successful. You know, it was my first kick return against the Denver Broncos. You know, made a few guys miss and, and up the sideline. Great blocking, obviously. Uh, and it started with in practice. In practice, that's what we did. You know, we, we practiced the way we wanted to play, and it happened. And so uh, just very exciting. That's when I was like, OK, well, maybe I can play this game. I say first things first. If you can't get the grades, you know, you, you can't get into college. And then, you know, if you don't get into college, you can't get to where I am. So the best thing I would say is start, you know, with grades, you know, have have good grades, you know, make it make it easy so you just take the test. You don't have to worry about clearing house or anything, and you're in college. So uh, I say that's that's a good start, and I think it, you know, if you if you could be disciplined in the classroom, you can be disciplined on the field, you know, with with plays and and, and the workload that that comes along with with school and sports. Just excitement, uh, you know. I, I kind of play for more than myself. I play for you know God and my team and so just to see it means more to, it means more for the team to see me like yes you know you're putting us in a better better position to win than you know yes I just did this I did that so you know if the, if the team is happy with me that's when I'm happy so I'm, I kind of try to be a team player definitely love I definitely love golfing uh, just started playing four years ago and I'm getting better and better uh, but I love golfing I, I love playing in scrambles where I can meet new people and, and charity events and uh, fishing I love fishing, uh, so those are kind of the two things I love the most. Yeah, I'm actually, I actually, I'm a part of a charity event this year, uh, Rainbow for Kids, which is for kids, you know, who've lost a parent, you know, to cancer or, or in war or, or, you know, whatever the case is, uh, just to show these kids that there is a way that you can make it still. There is a way that, you know, every, people will acknowledge that you're, you're here. So, um, you know, just, I just want to show that I'm there, have some fun with the kids and, and meet some new people. Love it. I love it. I just hope I don't get too excited and like trip over it and, and stab myself. But uh, no, I, I love the trophy. It's, it's a, it's, I want to thank everyone. Uh, just appreciative for uh, you know receiving the, the award for being the top you know wide receiver in the country. 
uh, like I said earlier, I was competing against a lot of great, you know, receivers who will be, you know, great later on in life too. So uh, just, just happy and appreciative and, and feel blessed. It's probably one of the, every game is probably like the best day of my life. Um, you know, I, I was one of those guys who couldn't, who couldn't sleep at night, who couldn't eat in the morning. And just was so excited, you know, just the tradition that goes that comes along with it. You know, getting off the buses in front of the, the dome, then walking into the basilica, having thousands and thousands of people clapping and cheering. You know, you know, go receive the blessing from you know, the priest. Then you continue for like a probably a half a mile of a walk, walk to the stadium and just lines and lines and lines of people with jerseys, the shirt. Uh, just cheering and, and, and calling your name and you know just cheering your own. It's nothing like it, and uh, that's one of the things that I definitely missed this year is the tradition that came along with that. I pretty much I was so busy that I just loved being in my in my room away from everybody. I just wanted to be around my my, my six my five roommates. Uh, you know, just hang out with them, watching TV. You know, get on the sticks. So that was kind of my thing. But if you had to choose a spot, I'd say. Uh, Definitely not the library. Uh, probably the Fortune, which is where we can go get ice cream and snacks and food and Subway to borrow. So, kind of hang out there. Hi, I'm Yolanda Tate, and uh, with uh, much pride and joy that my son was recognized as top performer while he was at the University of Notre Dame. Extremely proud of him and all his hard work was acknowledged. Well, there were really a couple of best plays. Uh, I have to say, my favorite would be uh, against SC. Uh, the double team with um, Taylor Mays and I forget the other guy. And Golden came down with the ball and they were laying on the ground with their legs up in the air. And I, uh, I think the next best one was probably uh, against Washington when we played in Texas. And Golden went up for the ball in traffic in the end zone with three other guys and he came down with the ball. And that was a Hail Mary pass from Jimmy Clausen, so very memorable. But he had a bunch of um, Nerf balls and stuff in his playpen, and he just took to balls more so than he did toys. And uh, he just seemed so ahead of the other kids on his development as a toddler and also as a young kid. And um, with him being so energetic and rambunctious, he and his brother, uh, we um, got him into T-ball when he was six, or were you five? He was five. And from then on, he's just amazed me, and he's still wowing me today. So I'm not surprised. Hi, I'm Wesley, I'm Golden's little brother. Um, Golden's had a great career, it's a countless um, memorable moments um, throughout his career, so I can't really name a specific one, but probably my favorite was uh, his first touchdown um, at Purdue, um, that was pretty special, so. Uh, it's, it's fun, I mean, we always have a good time, I mean, you know, during the weekend and the weekend, so. Um, I mean, it's fun. It's always an adventure. So, oh, everything's competitive. Um, 2K uh, 11 uh, basketball is probably our favorite game. We, we've uh, a lot of chores have been done <laughs> because of that game. So. On behalf of the Tate family, thank you for watching College Football Performance Awards.